Hey, it's Dan Larson. Today I want to show you how I made this very nice percussive neuro bass sound. Let's jump into it. Okay, so this sound is part of my newly released neuro bass sound. Uh, it is called Hard Neuro Funk Serum Presets. Uh, serum patchwork. So if you are interested in, just check the descriptions. And let me show you a few examples what it contains. So these are very, very nice sounds. I really love them. Hey, I bet you want to hear this. So if you want to learn how I made this huge track, click the link in the description and check my new course available at Let's Synthesize Academy. But let's get back to the push it sound, which I already show you. I resampled this sound, so right now it is coming from an audio channel, but the preset itself, as I told you, it is frozen. So if I unfreeze it, as you can see, I didn't add too much, only a multiband compression, an EQ8, and a saturator, so on its app, this pure serum preset sounds like this. How awesome is that? So let's check the serum preset. First of all, let me show you that we have some modulation here, so you will see what I did to the sound. So add lane for every, every modulation. I just increase the low pass filter and the reverb at the end of the sequence to have this effect. It's pretty dumb, I know, <laughs> but uh, you know, as part of the demo song, like increasing the tension at the end of this this section, basically, or this part, it's cool. So I use the basic MCB waveform and the one plus three plus sauce weave waveform. Actually, these wavetables are not, I mean, they are not very important because you can use anything, but these are part of my commonly pack, you know, the guy who made the tons of serum patches for cymatics. And these are nice wavetables, but the most important part here is the low pass filter because this is that creates the movement of the sound. So if I unclick it, It's just dumb. And actually LE41 controls the low pass filter and several other stuff. For example, the wave table position on oscillator A, the noise, because I added some noise too. Let me just loop this section and I'm going to just deactivate the, the stuff in Serum one by one. So you will hear what they do. So let's deactivate oscillator A and the filter and all the effects. Boom. Okay, so right now, what you can hear is only Oser A. Okay, let's add back Oser B. And I use LE42 to control the wavetable position and the warping mode on it. And as you can see, I use FM from Oser B. So without Oser B, of course, Oser A will not sound that good. Because actually what we are hearing is only Oser A this time. Okay, I added some noise to it. 
And again, control by the for one. The sub oscillator, which is like pretty basic. Now the Firo that I already covered. Nothing fancy here, only a 24 decibels roll of rate low pass feeder. And as you can see, with LFO2, I control some, some changes on the cutoff and the resonance when it gets, the sound gets to this section. So I made an extra wow at the end of the modulation of this section here. Wow. But if you trigger the sound like, t -t 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 -t, like a staccato kind of move, it creates a very nice percussive kind of sound. So that is because LFO1 has this starting point, which creates the pluckiness. Okay, let's go to the effects. Let's start with the distortion, which is again pre pretty basic. As you can hear, it creates and adds some more overtones to it. The sound turns into a little brighter. And I also use a filter, as you can see here, controlled by LFO1 again on this range. It doesn't do too much, by, by the way. And the compression, which is, I would say, the most important part here. To make the sound shine. Okay, let's add the equalizer. With some cut on the middle frequencies, let me check. It is at 700 Hz. And I increase the hype to, you know, just add some more tops. Now, the Opa sphere is an interesting sphere. I pretty love it because it adds some fur to the sound, like a noisy kind of tone, but in a very unique way. And some drive, it can make the sound even fatter. Okay, and a hyper dimension to the end. If you want, because you know it's controlled by Macro 4. But actually, I'm not. But actually, I'm not a big fan of this, so I think it should be in mono. And the phaser to the end to make the sound even, even harder and eviler. Okay, so this was the sound. If you want to grab the preset, just check the descriptions. I hope you enjoyed this, and see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.